Happy Saturday, y'all. Happy Saturday. Come on in. Go get your notebooks, your pen, your paper, your neighbors. I got something good that I'm making here in the Be Fit For You Culinary Lab. Hi, you guys. I'm Pam with Be Fit For You. And if this is your first time, please do not let this be your last time. Keep coming in and checking with me. Today, since honey, I'm in Texas, and the weather here, oh my God, is hot. So I'm coming to show you guys how to like, you know, make good meals with your crock pot. I usually do air fryer, but honey, I was feeling this, some neck bones. And if you haven't tried them, don't knock them until you try them. I hope that this recipe that I'm putting together today, you will make this recipe your own. Or you will, you know, come up with a combination of how to make this your own. So what I have done is I prepared, I've got three, a little bit over three pounds of neck bones. And I've cleaned them. You got to clean your neck bone because when they go to the butcher, he cuts them and they get kind of gritty and all that. So I have to make sure that I wash it before I do anything with any seasoning. <clears throat> If you come in the room, just drop your name. Let me know where you're from. Let me know if this is something that you will make your make uh, in your home or, you know, share with someone who you think will like this or, you know. <clears throat> so what I've got is, these are all my seasons that I have combined. And that bones, this is just a beef on bone. You can season it however you like, but these are the seasons that I've used to come together with this one little seasoning here, or a combination of seasoning. Y'all know I gotta have some Slappy Mama because I like a little, you know, a little kick to it. Y'all know. I have some white, I have some ground white pepper, have onion powder, garlic powder, paprika for color. I have some seasoned salt. And I have, of course, my natural sea salt. Just a little, just a tad. What I've done is I've combined it all in a little cup. And since I've got my real nice clean neck bones, I just take it and get it evenly. And what I did to kind of put this seasoning all together, you guys, I use about a half a teaspoon of each one of those, kind of like eyeballed it on the inside of this little cup here. That helps me not over season and make anything too salty or too much of any one of those seasonings. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of rub these together, making sure that all these seasons are adhered to these neck bones. Yes, honey, I was like, I got to start doing some crock pot, crock pot meals because it's hot. I think it's hot all over the United States right about now. Unless you're up in Colorado, I think they are having cool weather some parts over there. There's some cool spots, but honey, down here in Texas, whew, whew, it's hot. I think when I came back from the grocery store, it was measuring, it was telling me there was 106 outside. And I was like, my Lord, my Lord. So you guys, I want to put just a little bit more. I don't have... When I'm looking at something, I don't feel like it's evenly have enough seasoning on there for my liking. So I'm going to just do a little bit more of my seasoning. Okay. Let me get my hands washed. How are you guys doing today? What are y'all cooking? What are y'all making? I'm just trying to combat this heat. I'm not turning on my stove. I got the top of the stove going because I have a ham hock cooking here. I'm going to make me some cabbage, honey, to go with this. This will probably for tomorrow because I'm going to cook these neck bones on high for about six hours. I want them to be fall off the bone, honey. They neck bone, but they're going to be off the bone, okay? So I'm going to just go in with a little bit more of my seasoning salt. Just a little bit. Cause I like, you know, make sure that it gets, I want every piece of, to be seasoned. And just a little bit more garlic powder. I try to measure it up to give y'all a gauge of what I've used. And that wasn't real bad, the half a teaspoon. That wasn't bad. I just know when I see it in this bowl here, I want it to be evenly. 
want every little piece to be, you know, covered with seasoning. And I have chopped up some onions, white onions, some jalapenos, because, honey, I'm keeping it going with the spice. And I also have some red and yellow and orange bell peppers that I like. They're sweet. Gives us a good flavoring. Turn this over. Y'all, okay. I even also picked up a, uh, when I was at the grocery store, I also picked up a uh, Boston pork roast. I'm going to make some barbacoa out of it. So y'all going to be seeing me make some more crock pot. Hey! Y'all gonna see me make some more crock pot meals, honey, because I'm telling you, I am trying to battle this heat. So now I'm just gonna start putting these off inside of my crock pot. And y'all, I have a liner on my crock pot because less mess, honey. If I'm not in here trying to battle no heat, you can best believe that I am not gonna be trying to battle cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> And all those seasons in this bowl, honey, right off inside of this crock pot. All right, you guys. I'm going to add some beef broth to it to give it a little season to help it go ahead and get it cooked. You don't want to pour it on top of your seasoned meat because that washes off your season. So I'm going to make a little hole on the inside and just pour it on the, on the side so it doesn't... Splash off any of my seasoning. Yeah, y'all can see. So I got like a little well over there, like a little hole. So to get underneath, kind of like rock the boat. about eight dollars and some change for this neck bone which isn't bad at all not bad at all so saving money and good eats and here go my onions and i'm just gonna just put those on top and those are those red and yellow and orange bell peppers and the jalapenos I'm just gonna just put that over there. Baby, y'all gotta come here and see this. Hey Monica, hey. Look how look how that look on the inside. Don't that look pretty? <laughs> it ain't even cooked yet. It look look, it's all about presentation for me, guys. It is all about presentation for me. Yep. And now I'm gonna put on my lid. And let it do its magic. Six hours on high. Secure it. All right. And we off to the races. That's it, you guys. Crock-Pot Meal 101. I'm sure a lot of you have always made Crock-Pot Meals, but I was making these neck bones. I wanted to share it. It's easy. Um, only thing is, is just prepping it, getting it, getting it clean. Neck bones, like I said, when you go to the butcher and they, the way they cut it has like, you know, the grinding and it's not like I want it. So I have to make sure I properly wash it, make sure it's clean, get all the fat off of it. You know, if you've had neck bones, you know what I'm talking about. You may have had them, uh, the, the, Smoke neck bones, these are not smoked, these are the fresh ones. If you're gonna make these neck bones, make them fresh because the seasoned ones have a lot of salt in them. Those are used to like season cabbage or season greens. Or if you eat kale, you could also put that in kale, smoke neck bones, smoke uh, ham hock, something like that. But these are fresh, that's why you saw me put the seasons on it. 
But you guys, that is it. Let me know if y'all make these uh, neck bones, honey, because it's good eating. I have not decided if I am going to make it with some rice or I do have some cabbage, but I don't know if I'm going to make it with rice or not. But that's usually the thing, you know, make a little gravy that comes off of this and then put it on top of the rice. And honey, you got yourself a meal, honey. Combating the heat in Texas. So you guys, I thank y'all for coming in on the live. For those who come on the replay, I want to thank y'all. Also, you guys, I just appreciate y'all coming in and spending time with me. I am Pam with Be Fit For You. And my motto is Be Fit For You Spiritually. Be Fit For You Emotionally. Be Fit For You Physically. And definitely Be Fit For You Financially. You guys, I love you. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll be back tomorrow to show y'all what this goodness is. I'm not eating this today. This is like my Sunday meal. So I'll be back to let y'all see the goodness. We're going to have dinner. So put that on y'all calendars so y'all so can come back and watch me. See y'all.